Hi Torin, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your week at a glance. We're just going to be seeing anything crazy or significant that's going to happen this week for you. After Aquarius's reading, I had to like calm down a little bit. <laughs> so I'm really mellow right now because I had to calm down. I was kind of hype in Aquarius's reading. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen with yours because I think you're the last one that I'm doing. I might squeeze out Pisces after yours, but I've already did five signs. So you're the sixth sign I'm doing. And um, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do Pisces or not, but we'll see after your reading, okay? So let's see what's been going, what's gonna, anything significant or crazy that's gonna happen for my Taurans during this week? Anything significant or crazy that's gonna happen for my Taurans during this week? Let's see. Okay, huh. So some people are not happy that you're in the spotlight or that good things are happening for you. So be careful for that. It's like you have a group of people who are not happy that, or you have a lot of people, okay, if that's not the case, maybe something is not going well for you. Yeah, the Eight of Cups is here. So there might be something that's not going as good for you, Torin, and you're going to have a lot of people who are like telling you don't worry about it, but be careful of those people around you. Because I feel like there's something that you know that you failed at or that you didn't do as best as you thought that you would have. This could also be like news of a breakup or something. But it's like people are trying to uplift you. Okay, let me not say that because I don't trust these people. That's where I'm trying to get at. You know, if I, if I definitely if I trust them, I'll be like, oh, this is great. You know, like people are uplifting you. It's like people are trying to give you words of encouragement, but these people are actually not to be trusted. Let me pull one more card for you, then we're going to clarify. I don't know. It's like people are happy to see that something didn't work out for you, so be careful. Yeah, the moon card, the hangman, the secret is up. The jig is up. Like, the someone, like, secretly people are happy that you're stuck, the hangman. So, I'm sorry that this is not, like, a super positive reading, but I think it's better to see than... I mean, let's see what comes out, okay? If you're here, then just, you might as well just hear this message. It's meant for you. All right, so what's the Six of Wands doing here? What's the Six of Wands? Hierophant Page of Wands. The funny thing is that something didn't happen for you or something just kind of fell through for you. But the funny thing is that, like, literally God hasn't given you this blessing yet. So maybe you asked for something and it fell through and, like, your coworkers know. Because it's kind of giving me that energy where it's like um, when you work for a company and, like, everybody in the company speaks so they know who goes for who, what position. Like, say there's a management position and you go for it, you might tell Bethany and then Bethany tells the whole fucking department, you know what I'm saying? Like, people knew that you were going after a job or people knew that you were trying to do something. And then because people know that and they keep tabs on that, then if it doesn't happen, everybody knows too. But it's kind of funny that p these people are like, oh, Taurus didn't get this. So let me just, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to just go to them. It's kind of fake. You know, it's kind of like someone's in the office and they're telling their, their coworker, they're like, oh, Taurus didn't get that position. So I'm going to go say, you know, I'm going to go speak to them. That's just disingen disingenuine. Is that is that a word? Because... Why does that coworker need to go and tell another coworker that you didn't make it and that they're going to go comfort you? Like someone who's genuine is not going to tell anyone. They're just going to come comfort you. So it's kind of that energy where like you're the talk of the office or you're the talk of the town or you're the talk of the family. But the, the, the same people who are talking about you are coming towards you for comfort. So be careful of that. But the funny thing about this tours is that honestly, the page and wands, the hierophant spirit is going to give you a big blessing. Blessing is just not this certain blessing here. That's the that's the jig. So like someone's trying to comfort you, and it's like you don't need to comfort me because you don't even know what's about to come. Like someone's gonna be okay. What's the hierophant? I don't want to be like this person. All right, the three of pentacles. So there's a lot of um, he say she say over this about what didn't work out for you or what didn't happen for you. But little do people know is that you're about to get a bigger position than what you ask for a bigger blessing than what you asked for what's the page of wands please 
the hermit the empress like right now it's looking kind of slow for you but soon you're going to turn into the empress or the emperor where you're going to be in charge of everybody or you're just um in control over everything so if you apply for a position it's like you didn't get that small position that you applied for but you're later going to get a position that's over that position you might even be the boss of the co-workers who are talking about you so that's the funny thing about it. it's like something is funny but I think it's funny for you, Taurus, not these people. Like, what they're speaking about is not funny. What what you know or what you yet to not know is funny. Like, I keep hearing my spirit guides are, like, laughing in my ear right now. They're kind of crazy. All right, so let's see what the hermit card is. What's the hermit, please? What's the hermit? So don't fret. Don't feel bad. These people have no idea what's about to come for you. Okay, yeah, so we have the queen of cups here, but it's kind of reversed. So people are showing you love. Okay, and accept it, but don't don't be blind. Okay, the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Cups is a very kind, sweet person. Someone who could be easily taken advantage of because of their kindness. With the Queen of Cups in reverse, it's like I'm still kind, but I'm not taking your bullshit. I'm not as sweet as you think I am. So just be careful of the people who are coming around you being very supportive during this time. It may be fake love, okay? What's the Empress here? But you know that, so just, just you know, protect yourself. Yeah, the Seven of Swords is here. It's so funny. The Seven of Swords talks about, it could talk about, like, betrayal, cheating, getting away with something. Okay, so first of all, you are getting away with something. We're going to talk about it. But also, the Seven of Swords in a better light also means doing something another way to achieve your goal. So for the same thing, you're going to get away from, with something because you decided to go a different way. So it's kind of like getting denied for a job or or possibly getting denied with a person. Like maybe you and someone were dating and you guys weren't in, broke up and everybody knows that. It's like, for it's, it's funny because this person will be up your ass and people don't even know. Or people don't even know that you guys will be getting back together or you're going to move in with this person. Like something is going to be very crazy. Like say it's work and you applied for a job, Torin. You didn't get it. It's like you're going to get a job that pays way more and that you're going to have better status about. And it's going to be funny that you even were stressed out about this. Also, if this is with someone that you're dating, like people are coming to you and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry that you, so, you and so-and-so broke up. But they're being kind of shady behind the scenes. It's funny because so-and-so and you are going to actually be together and, like, get married and stuff. Like, it's that kind of funny. It's like, okay, you think that it's over for Taurus. It's just began. So with the Seven of Swords, I see you getting away with something that possibly was supposed to fall through for you. Also see things going in your way. Also see you going another way to get towards these things. What's the Seven of Swords here? You know, the Empress is your energy, all right? The Four of Pentacles. It's like, you're, you know how certain people get let down by things and they just let it go and move on? You're not letting this go. Therefore, you're going to get this bigger blessing coming in. So whoever these people who are being fake and coming to you and so involved in your life, it's like they have no idea you're about to stun on them. All right, what's the Eight of Cups? Because I've been talking too long. Yeah, the Four of Swords is here. So you're walking away from something for a break, but you're coming back to it. Like, you're not going to abandon this like everybody else. You could be done with people who, if things don't work out for them, you know, this could be family, this could be friends, you know, if things don't work out for them, they try to just move on. You know better than that. You're just coming up with a different plan. The two of wands. I feel like this is why you're going to win. Yeah, the judgment card. There's going to be another opportunity, a better opportunity to come towards you. And also the queen of pentacles is here, okay? So, so much your energy where it's like whatever you deserve, you're going to get here. You don't even have to work hard for it either, okay? All right, what's the moon card? In reverse is the king of cups in reverse. So, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If it's not that, there's definitely a masculine figure here who is losing their shit. They could also be trying to... Um, control the situation because they're scared that you're going to move on with someone else okay there's someone here tell me about this king of cups okay the ace of wands they want a new beginning they want to start fresh with you how does taurus feel about this king of cups in reverse how does taurus feel about this person 
the tower okay you feel like they're coming towards you unexpectedly you could be dealing with the sagittarius because something with the tower was like really in saggy's energy so you definitely a sagittarius could be coming towards you very unexpectedly or um a pisces cancer scorpio okay what else is here what's the what's the um hangman so you might feel stuck. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. You really love this person, Taurus? Okay. Interesting. What's the outcome? No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this in a bonus, okay? Clarify the Ten of Cups. I'm so excited. I want to know the outcome, but I'm going to do that in the bonus, which is on Patreon. The full card in reverse with the Ten of Cups. You guys definitely both want each other very strongly, but I feel like both of you guys are choosing not to just go for it. The, the full card in reverse. Yeah, y'all are weighing the options right now. So many energies coming in. So not only are you going to be denied for something that you really wanted, for something bigger coming in, I feel like there's also a love energy at the same time. And it's just very, has you very conflicted. But obviously you and this person really love each other. Now, I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but I'm feeling in my heart positive. Okay, so I'm going to go into it deeper in the bonus reading. Let's get your last words, Torin. All right, let's see. Let me write down your... All right, let's see. Definitely someone's not ready to let you go, Taurus. Like, they still want to make things work they want to make things last between you guys they feel like they this could be someone who's who's invested a lot of time with you they feel even if you're young this person feels like they spent a lot of time like thinking about you or investing in you even if you don't feel that way they do and they don't want to give you up last words for a Taurus please last words for Taurus We're good. All right, Pentacle Daddy slash Pentacle Mommy is on the bottom. Definitely could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. All right, you are a Taurus, so there's that. But they're also it's in reverse, so I don't know what that's about. Maybe someone was acting like they're more stable than what they really are. Okay, I have I'm telling the truth here. Okay, if that's you or your person's gonna be, t someone's gonna be telling you that I'm telling the truth. Okay, whatever. February Pisces or Aquarius, you could be dealing with something significant could happen this February coming up between you and this person. I'm not over you. Okay. Highly protected. So you have been um, seeking your spiritual guides recently. Or you've been feeling that energy from them to make the right decisions or to just to stay optimistic even if you've been denied something because there's something so much better coming towards you we have in the trash okay uh, so you could have you're done with someone or you threw something in the trash maybe you need to check your trash okay i don't know sexy hairstyle slash haircut okay so whoever you are your hair looks really nice or you're thinking about changing switching your hairstyle up is going to be a positive um insecure is here we have I'm too good to you slash for you. What else do we have here? We have I'm not letting this go. Sex could be better. This came out for Aquarius. You definitely could be done with an Aquarius. Okay, what else is here? Plotting against you. That's the Seven of Swords energy. Who had the Seven of Swords energy? Who had that? Let me think. I think Sag had that. You could be dealing with a Sag, Torn. Celebrity status, okay. You could be a celebrity. Your person could be a celebrity. Or you guys just get lots of attention. You're going to get a lot of attention soon. Someone could be stalking you or keeping very close eyes on you. Okay, Torn. All right, Torn. thank you so much for your time. This is your reading week at a glance. I just feel like... Um, 
I feel like you're being very much so underestimated right now, but it's because you're about to get this big opportunity, okay? For me to say that as well, if there's an ex, because I'm about to do the new love reading, so you don't want to miss that. That's coming out very soon this week, okay? So the thing is, if you have an ex that maybe you have unfinished business with, but you still feel like you deserve better, you're going to get better. Like, people don't even know that you are. Someone could be thinking that you're so butthurt over them. They have no idea when a new love, this new love comes into your life that's just such a great opportunity, you won't even be thinking about them anymore. So if you're looking for new love and you're like, you're so tired of hearing about this past person, I understand, I heard you. That reading will be coming out this week, so don't worry. Like the video if this was your video. Comment on Moon down below for Dream Tarot. Subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. If you want to book a personal reading, make sure you do so. The link is in the description box down below. I will be closing them off the end of this week, so you don't want to miss it. Get your spot. Um, if you want to follow my Instagram, I will be doing a live later on this week. And I also will be doing a reading this week as well on my Instagram. Um, what else? I'm not doing an extent. Oh, if you want to shop my store, if you want to shop any of my candles. That's what you've been hearing in the background because it's really close to the speaker. So you hear my, because I have wood, wooden wicks, they crackle. This is one that's not dressed yet, but I have crystal candles and um, jewelry. First link in the description box is shop my store. And yeah, um, the bonus reading will be on Patreon. I'm not going to do it individually for you guys to buy. I just feel like I'll just do it for my Patreon. So if you're interested in that, all those links are in the description box down below. I love you guys so much and I'll speak to you next time. All right, bye-bye, Taurus.